hi guys what's up everyone this is Gora welcome back to another video in this video I'm going to talk about key points international students should know about United States engineering programs now as the topic said I'm going to discuss about all the important points which you as an international student should know about the engineering program here in the US universities now engineering is one of the most popular field for international students to study here in the United States. Along with physical and earth science and businesses, the field enrolls around 62% of all international graduate students at U.S. institutes according to the study. Now across all United States graduate programs, the highest percent increase of student applicants came from China, region and region encompassing of uh, Middle East, Turkey and of course India producing like 18% of more applicants than last year. So all this country like China and India are the biggest in the international students who come here to study the graduate courses in the United States and also mostly they are from engineering background. Now if you are interested in pursuing a master's or PhD degree in the United States, here are some of the things which you should know as you begin your school search so we are going to discuss all those points so let's get started now the first point is know whom to contact now US engineering school can vastly differ in area of specialization and emphasis on research or pre-professional training so researching program is critical to matching your academic interest and career goals to right school of use so it's very important to research and to match your interest as per the courses which are offered in US universities there are so many courses and so many sub courses which are provided at US universities in 4000 US universities so the best way to glean specifics about a particular school is to research out the officials there but seeking out the right contact can be a challenge now for each course, you have to find out the right contact person or the contacting person whom you should contact about the specific course. Do you, do you speak to admissions who really don't know about what is going on or do you speak to the person who is working in admission committee who is overworked? So it depends on whom you ask. Not everyone is expert on everything. So you need to select a specific person you need to be very sure of whom you are contacting and it should be the correct right person. Now that thing is very accountable and that is very important step in deciding which course you want to go because any misleading comment or misleading information can lead you to change your university. And for some international students outreach can be even tougher since the language barrier comes in like if, if someone doesn't know that better English then the language barrier comes in and it might be more difficult for a student to find out or to contact a person whom he is trying to get information about the university now connecting with a school representative is especially important for prospective PhD students who will be closely working with the faculties or the professors so it's much easier if you are in United States because you actually get to go and meet professors around the country who know once they meet you if it's a right fit or not so you can email them from your own country or nation that I'm going to be working or I'm going to be doing PhD so it's very important for you to build up a communication with your faculty members and your professors that you are going to work with them so and if you are here in the US and then you communicate then it's even more better because you will be able to know that one-to-one -one communication whom you are going to work with so this point is very important and if you just apply to a graduate program without contacting any of the person or the faculty or the professor at the university or without knowing anyone over there I think the chances of getting into that university might be lower so first of all just research about the university go to the admissions page go to the specific course criteria page and figure out whom to contact, talk to the secretary, email them, ask about the teaching of 
assistant positions ask about everything you want to know in that way there will be a communication and you will be able to know people and the communication is very important and the person whom you are going to ask is very important make sure he is knowledgeable and you don't ask any other people now that was the first point now the second key point is understand the application process now unlike admission process as international schools US graduate schools requires a variety of materials that showcase a student's strength not just the test score it's not only the test score of TOEFL or GRE it's everything which matters in a graduate school now instead graduate engineering school specifically if you're going for it also MBA because they are all higher level courses now instead engineering app applications typically requires letter of recommendation statement of purpose whom you have to be written by your professor who where you studied or the person who knows you very well as well as the it has to come in a very formal way and it should show your extracurricular activities other than your resume so that they know who you are actually as a person and how do you perform when you're kept at a certain task level now you have to spend a lot of time writing a statement of purpose and showing that you ba your balance may like you balance your academic with the other curricular activities that you have to show in your statement of purpose now that's the most difficult thing to negotiate if you are coming from another country to united states so it's very important and it's not like you copy paste it please do not copy make your own write your real life stories inside it so that was very important second key point now the third key point is to start preparing early prepare early now though your uh, entrant exam is only one component of your application process to u.s university it is still very crucial to study study well in advance for your gre or gmat now the test vocabulary and quantitative skill sections require advanced preparation by most of the students that there are so many other sections in GRE like the English section the quant and the vocab they are very kind of difficult and you need advanced preparation and even if you speak very good English it might be challenging for you to learn those words and to remember those words and implement them in your examination now still um, studying for a significant amount of time like six months some students recommend it might be very better depends on you but if the six month preparation well preparation is always better than just going and preparing for one month like it, it will improve your test ability and take your practice test so that you know what exactly you, where you stand and create a benchmark of your score that okay I, for this university i want this mark so you try to get this mark and go beyond that so that your admission process becomes confirmed now i think gre is more about practice than what you know on date of test so it's practice practice and practice if you have six months to practice you will probably do better than if you had one month now unlike domestic domestic students international application applicants also require to take toefl exam which is an english exam that evaluates your english proficiency and that is also another thing and still uh, the end result of attending a US engineering college is likely to work the time it takes to navigate the front end of the process it's all worth it at the end when you get into US University you will be able to get a quality education after all these steps so always the value you get for, for a master's degree from a recognized school in the US is really good to go for even though you have to pass this hurdles of exams and application process and university selection like visa process and GRE everything that doesn't matter I mean finally you will get what you wanted to get so please be firm and prepare well and please keep these three key points in your mind that's it for this video and I'm going to make more videos if you have any questions or if you want me to make a specific videos please comment below and if you are new to this channel please subscribe to my channel and there are many more videos coming up and many videos which I made previously I hope they are informative and I hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next one thank you